iTunes. Well, they've set up, they've rigged up some steps here to get up this this hill here. I wanted to go up and film it from top. Boggy here. Yeah. That's where we are down there. There's the sheepies. A nice meadow for the sheep to graze. Oh, nest up here. I don't want to get too near the edge. We keep getting these lovely days, don't we? We come to that to the other end of the of the beach that we're over there so we've walked round here it's it's just delightful the set the sand and the sea it's turquoise sea 
this little Natalie, we've just been talking to a chap who's got on a, what is it, Paul? Uh, Volkswagen ID Buzz, which is a new electric Volkswagen van. Yeah. It's a copy of the, uh, the old 50s split screen. We didn't ask him how much it was, did we? No. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, it'd be a few figures, won't it? Yeah. Oh, these, anyway, Trevor, these houses, these are the gardens. Yeah, yeah. Stunning. Absolutely. <laughs> There's little gardens belonging to these cottages opposite. In this yeah. Yeah. Straight out onto the sea. Wow. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Cozy nook. Lots of beach bars are down here, the surf bars. I'll have to see if film the um the little little huts. Yeah. Beach car cafe and bar. Yeah, cozy nook. Right on the beach. Terrific. The Cozy Nook Cafe and Bar, you are entering the licensed premises. Costa del Fortune, aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> for, for free. Look at these little delights here. All pretty colours, all pastel. Pastel shades. Crystal clear, that, Trevor. Yeah, isn't it lovely? Crystal clear. Just look at it. Look, it's crowded. Look at that, Ellen. <laughs> Think of all the room you've got here. Paradise. Point going back, yeah. We'll just keep going. It's all yeah. Italian, yeah. Right? I want you to film these look beautiful, <laughs> these buildings. Yeah. Might be a what? Might be a cold lager at Pugget. All oh, right, top. okay, yeah. <laughs> There's a view from the other side. There's our van. There's our van. There. Can you see there? Port Port Erin Erin Port Erin Port Erin That's Port Erin It is a delightful little place Quietest place we've been on the island so far Found a path down onto this There's a lovely path that walks We've been seeing it from the other side at bay um, And this is it, we can get onto it This is the first day I am to my coat on. It's just a beautiful day. I've no cap on and I've no coat on. Looking down at that water, it's turquoise. The sun glistening off it. Cold there. Eh? Oh, in there, yeah. Look at this amazing path there eh, they've provided for walkers.
<laughs> wow. Just keeps going, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, Trevor, look at that. Look at that there. That little cove there, look. Look at water. I, I had a bootleg album at Shea Stadium. Beatles live at Shea, and they, all they had were AC 30 amps. <laughs> it was amazing. It, oh, look at this. That is amazing. And look, it, it's all disused. They, they leaked, didn't they? What the yeah, start that once they started to leak, they want all the water. Why, 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 oh, why did it cease? I I parked at the side of one of these in Scotland, it was in worse condition than this. And, and I went online and found loads and loads of photographs of it when it was in its heyday. Really, yeah, amazing place. Wow, look at that. We've got a place to ourselves, again. Oops. Just come round a corner and you meet greeted with this. So you go from that to that. <laughs> oh dear. Look, it's like the Caribbean. <laughs> wow. That would have been a magnificent place to come that when it were in its air day. If you, if you like swimming. Swimming there. Oh. Wow. Grazed. Did, were it sheep or were it cows on on salt this salt marshes? And the yeah. sea used to come in and they wouldn't move. Really? And a lot of them drowned. Oh, they wow. just stood there and drowned. But it gave the meat a, a different taste, apparently. From eating this, this, this vegetation on these salt marshes. Because the sea, you know, it, it, it obviously liked salt. Yeah. So this this area there where we've been is called Bradder Glen. Entrance of cars, 200 metres further on. Come up. We're exhausted from that climb. Yeah. Yep, yeah, that's where we were down there. So is this a private house this? Good grief, built right on the edge of here. I think we found ourselves our new house, Trevor, here. Oh yeah. Derelict. Derelict. Oh look at this. <laughs> This room, it reminds me of Sandbank. Sandbank in Dorset. You ever been? View from this. A few palm trees in there, Trevor, while we're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. That's where we've come from, isn't it? 
Look, you would think we were in French Riviera. Yeah, because it's quiet. French Riviera. To all to ascend. Still in the pyjamas. <laughs> I laid back morning, you getting it shower pack? Yeah. I thought that's what... Oh, look. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. Seagulls have crapped all over my windscreen. Oh. They are filthy things, aren't they? Yeah. Wow. Well, I suppose ever... they don't know where they're dropping it, do Forever they? cleaning crap off my van. Why aren't they yeah. any on... Their van? <laughs> Why only mine? You don't know. There might be some on that windscreen. Looks lovely and clean at back. It does. No justice. <laughs> oh dear. Ah, well, folks. You've seen a, a right walk I did yesterday. Really interesting, and it's warm again, isn't it, Pat? Mm -hmm. Lovely and warm in here. I don't know what it's like out, I haven't been out yet. No, it's sort of cloudy, and the weather's not supposed to be going to be particularly good today, I don't mm -hmm. think. Um, we haven't had any rain during the day, have we? Not during the day, no, we've had two nights when it's rained. Mm. Yeah. But not for long, I don't think. Mm. And um, Paul went down to the pizza place. I wish I'd have taken my phone with me. I went with him. Um, mm. Takeaway. Got a takeaway. I mean, yeah. I. I can't eat pizza. I had to have um chicken. I had a chicken burger with fries, but I couldn't eat the we bread took like. We the chicken out, think, didn't we? Think Pat ate the bread, or oh, some of it. Um, and it was very nice actually, and mm. it was well, quite interesting watching them cook the pizza. The pizzas, yeah, how they did it. I wish I'd have had my phone with me. I'd have yeah. filmed it. Oh, nice faces, not they? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they're all making them in there and mm. you could see them cooking them and that. Yeah. Shared the chips. Well, I had a few. And, uh, very nice. It was, yeah. And Paul brought us a... Because he'd bought a pizza base with just garlic. It, garlic sauce bread, on garlic it. bread with a sort of tomato sauce, sauce on, on it. it but, yeah. But it was. To taste, he said, try that, it's I, lovely. We were really impressed with it. Mm. Says they've knocked it out of the park. Yeah. <clears throat> good. Oh, yeah. So the trip continues. I don't normally eat pizza either, it's not one of my favourite foods, but um, it was very nice. Mm. Mm. Them chips were really tasty, I don't know what they've done with them. Mm. Yeah, very. So I don't know what we've got planned today folks. No, you walked your little legs off yesterday didn't you? Yeah. Paul and I, we went way over the other side of the arbour there. Yeah. <coughs> and uh, when I was walking back, and uh, Paul went in to get the menu from the pizza place, a car pulled up, wound his window down, he pulled up and wound his window down and says, Hello, Trevor. I looked. Didn't recognise the man. 
calling yeah. my name. Oh, who's this? And um, he's, he lives on the island, uh, Richard. And uh, he'd come across to see us. He'd been oh. following us. And um, he drove me back up to the van. He'd, he'd, he'd driven up to the van and he saw Pat asleep. So while I was out yesterday afternoon walking, Pat was asleep all afternoon. She didn't have a very good night the previous night, did no, you? No. Um, so she had a right, a right, good what, two or three hours kick. I must have done. Because well, it was quarter to five, bit. quarter to five at the time we got back. Yeah, I did read a bit. All right. When you set off, but um, I could feel my eyes going, so I thought, oh, I'll just lay down. <laughs> well, Richard, he came and he saw Pat asleep so he didn't want to disturb her so he, he was going to leave and of course he saw me walking up so we came back and and we had a chat he came into the van and we had a chat together it was really nice to have met him mm. he's lived he's lived on the island his yeah, parents right. bought a, came out here on holiday liked the place so much bought a house um 55 years ago <laughs> He's been here ever since. Uh, yeah, great. He lives down in the south end of the island. And apparently, the south end of the island's more prosperous than the north, just like it is in the UK. Mm -hmm. And also, there's a tendency uh, for the south not to like the north and the north not to like the south, mm -hmm. like there is in the UK. <laughs> That's strange. Yeah, so we had a quite an interesting yeah. chat. People have bought apartments here and just come come from England, don't they fly over? I'm not for an holiday, and it, yeah. um, it's Make not a it noise. It, it, the yeah, the locals don't like that. When the Brits buy property over here and not live in it, mm. they're just using it as an holiday home. The, there was a big house up on that hill that I wanted to see it had an oval kind of sunroom on the front of it it was massive this place and apparently the the person who owns that don't live in it no. full time doesn't he have an, an helicopter does he that he flies about in I, I don't know backwards and forwards because um, apparently we're not far from the airport down here no. Uh, where I'm going next for me gas, the town that I'm going next, I can't remember is it here. Castle? Castleton, is it? Is it Castleton? Castleton, I think. Not sure. um, it, that is near the airport. Right. Uh, it's the only airport on the the island. Um, so that'll be why the the south end of the island is more popular yeah. with all these. Wealthy dudes. Because <laughs> it's near airport. Yeah. And apparently they're going to build a big hotel just in front here. Yeah, there's an area of land that's been Below fenced hills. off. We're on like a circular road here. Um, not often cars come up here and have to turn around and go back. Because uh, they've got it all fenced off there. And he, uh, Richard says they're going to build a hotel on it. An apartment. So, <clears throat> don't know whether this parking spot won't be available after that. Don't know. Mm. <coughs> yeah, you never know, do you? No. So there we are, folks. So, that's, that's what we've done yesterday and this morning. And today, I don't know what we'll do, <clears throat> but we'll keep you updated. Yeah. I know we're, we are staying here another day, moving moving to Castleton tomorrow. Um, and no, I, I didn't know if they recovered their phone, folks, the, those people who dropped the phone no, in the sea. No, we didn't, we didn't <clears throat> get out in time, did we, to... No, to see him. no, we didn't. 
So I don't know whether they did or not. It looks like a, a, a silver-headed rambling trip. <laughs> yeah, by the looks of it. All right. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Happy birthday, Alethea, if you watch. All right. Yeah, it's Alethea's birthday today. Happy birthday, Leafy. Um, tell her, uh, Tracy, if you're watching. I did send her a message this morning. And we have sent her a card. And we have sent her a card. Bye. Bye.